Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be trying Monster Tribe. This game just released today. So it kind of just came out of nowhere. I'll be honest. Like, I knew they had a Kickstarter and stuff a while ago. And then Gym Leader Ed had, you know, a live stream playing the demo with the, uh, with the developer. And then it kind of just went quiet. And then all of a sudden I hear about it. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's dive in and try this out. Come here and I'll tell you our story. A long time ago, the island of Akima was a barren wasteland. Nothing could live there and nothing did until one day a spiritual energy graced this desolate world. From it came the Atheon, Atheon? Man, I butchered that. The Atheon, Atheon, or Atheon? Jeez. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry guys the Athean brought all the forces of life with them and this island flourished they brought the water and wind the seeds that became plants the spirits of life and the fire and lightning we humans were born of these natural forces we cannot draw energy from the rift like they do like they do but we can use what they have bestowed upon us to make our way in this world. We would not exist without, without the blessings of Atian. And so we give them our blessing in return. We thank them before dinner. We praise them when the rain comes and we dance with their spirits when the day replaces the night. So then, where did the Atian go? Well, you see, they still live all around us. We just cannot see them. But just like the wind, we feel their presence. Some say that our ancestors knew them, just like we knew the birds and the fish. But it's been a long time since anyone has seen them. All we have left are the stories, beliefs, and traditions of the Dayan, Dayan people. So it's important that we keep those traditions alive. So don't forget where we came from. Okay. So I'm just pressing random buttons. Basic actions. Okay. Assuming use. Okay. So the A button. So it is a controller compatible to have it done anything. It just auto connect. Let's see. Okay, we got some stuff. Okay, that's just a bookshelf. Yep. I think we just need to head out of here. So you're awake, had one of those odd dreams again, huh? That's been happening to you a lot lately. I wonder what that's about. Well, never mind. Uh, well, never mind that for now. Are you ready? Elder Nikayam is waiting for us. He told me to come get you. Can't believe it's finally time for us to complete our spirit journeys. Come on, everyone else should be at the town hall already. Okay. So, it looks like we gotta go over there. It's definitely got a really uh, unique uh, pixel art. Is it the best pixel art? I, I'm not going to say no, but it's definitely not the worst. I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> Hello, Kimmy and Colin. Glad you could make it. All right. Now that everyone is here, we can begin. Today we embark on your journeys to the sacred ritual stones of, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that, somewhere in the hills, where we all perform the ancient rites of day, day and join in the ranks of Akima's, or Kuma's newest sages. Jeez, I'm going to be butchering this all day. As sages, you all will be taking my place leading the people of Akuma. You will be there 
to help guide and support both the land and its people wherever you can. We are the keepers of balance and we must ensure that the spiritual and material continue to prosper all across the Kuma. The four of you have prepared many years for your life and it is now time to usher you into new roles. I wish you all the best of luck. Blacksmith Jara, shopkeeper Kelly, are awaiting your arrivals with gifts for your journeys and I have something for you as well. These journals will help you keep track of the important tasks you take on as well as anything interesting you come across on your journeys. Understanding the island's inhabitants and resources will be vital to your success. Go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, we got a journal. Okay. It's like we just got a... I think he already... Yep, we need to go to the shopkeeper. But the, the actual, like, map and, like, this, like, the artwork, like, with the roads and stuff, they're not, they're actually pretty polished. I, I really like the look of them. So now we got to figure out where these shopkeepers are. I'm assuming this is one. The door is locked. Nope, maybe not. Do, do, do. Let's read the sign. Okay, this is locked as well. So it looks like there's a little bit of gathering in this game as well. We got to figure out where these people are. I think he's been worried about Mookie, but honestly, I think Mookie's plenty capable. You guys are actually doing it today, huh? I got to say, I'm still a little surprised that Mookie stuck it out with you. He just so indecisive, you know. Guess that shows how much he wanted this. There's something strange floating around here, barely visible. Okay. Maybe here? I mean, I'll take free stuff. What do we got here? Okay, this is a laboratory. So if we go to the options here. So we need to visit Shopkeep Kelly and Blacksmith Jara. So location, Ota Village. So it's gonna be orange and purple. Or at least that seems like a Q color. Question is, was this... This door is locked. That must be something. This door is locked. I'll be honest, I am a little lost. Do, do, do. This one. Let's see. Are awaiting your rivals. Okay. Are they up 
Sir, of Okay, free stuff. Do do do. I've talked to them. Doors locked. Apparently teepees have locks on them. What do we got here? Do I gotta like... Not exactly sure what to do. That's locked. But... I will take berries. I'm assuming I can't go over the cracks. Is it this guy we need to talk to? Hey, Callan. Big day, huh? Wishing you the best of luck. If you need something to get started on, once you officially assage, come chat with me again. Okay, nope. Door is locked. Door is locked. Door is locked. Obviously, we can't go into here because it's cracked. I wish you and all your friends luck with your new lives as sages. Okay. No, nope. you're all locked. Are they like on the outskirts, maybe? It's a big map. <laughs> I will I will mention that. It is a big map. Okay, apparently I cannot read that. Ooh, I see blueberries. Give me the berries. Okay, just go in and get your stuff and get going. Okay. Here for the ceremonial items, Arya. Be careful with these. They've been passed down through the generations for hundreds of years. I don't sell nothing this special normally. So don't be so don't come so don't come running back saying you lost them or nothing. Did we buy it? Seems like. Okay, now we gotta go to this house. Okay, so why didn't, okay. That would have saved me a ton of time if that would have done that in the beginning. Like, look, it's got the arrow. <laughs> yeah, why wasn't that a... Uh, that would have saved me, like, a, some time. Okay. Morning, Callan. I hear today... Or, I hear today's the day, huh? Here you go, your very first set of tools. Now I know there's nothing special, but we all have to start somewhere, right? If you ever feel like 
you could do with something a little more specialized, I can make all kinds of interesting tools for you. Just bring me the necessary materials. Ah, okay. This is why we need to, to forge and pick berries and wood and I'll halfway craft them for you. Okay. Doot, doot, doot. You got your tools already? Perfect. There was a rock slide that blocked the exit to the village, but we should be able to get through with these or with those. I'm assuming we got to use a pick. We actually did it. Now, finally, let's head to the ritual site and complete our rites. Finally, we made it. I've talked to the other, to the others earlier, and we agreed that you should go first, Callum. I know how much you've been looking forward to this, so show us how it's done. Point the rocks using the ceremon ceremon ceremonial paint. Wow, and then start the flame in the center and use it to light the ceremonial pipe and finish your vision ceremony. Here we go. We're, we're, we're going some psychedelic trip. The Rift bestowed Akuma with the elements. The spirits born of them gave it life. Life spread and dominated, but then life forgot the spirits. The spirits were split from the elements, and Akuma falls slowly to ruin. You carry a talent long forgotten. It will show you the spirit world, and with this gift, you will bring balance. The Atheon will guide you. The fabled beast must be a appeased catalysm can still be avoided learn to use the power of your ancestors restore harmony to the separated and you can make this land whole again open your eyes and see this world for what it truly is oh he finally broke out of the trance so the so that means you understand now right akuma is falling apart and we need to do something to stop it Oh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi, my name is... Is it supposed to be Wick or Wiki? I'm a spirit guide for the Dian people. Well, I used to be. I've been quiet a while since I have last been awake. And honestly, I only really remember things vaguely right now. But I'll do my best to be your guide. So, nice to meet you. It's time for you to learn about the Athean and their role on Akuma. And yes, the same ones from the stories of your ancestor. They are much more than just that. They help control the balance of nature on the island and all these disasters that have been happening. It's because the people have neglected the Athean for so long. Sorry, this is probably a lot, of process, a lot to process. It makes sense that you're confused, but I think it'll be easier to just show you. Just walk up to the machine there and turn it on and it it will get started. Okay, we got a machine. <clears throat> this is what a typical Athean battle looks like. Each side of the battlefield is comprised of six grid spaces. The control bar at the bottom of the screen is how you tell your Athean what to do. First, First we'll have your attack or first we'll have you attack your opponent. So I'm assuming it's a sword.
Okay, let's see. It's definitely a different battle system. Never done anything like this, like on a grid system. It looks like the opposing Athean created a tile effect beneath you. These effects will stick to a tile and affect any Athean on it at the end of your turn. So let's move them out of the way. Okay, so we got to press move. The profiles on the right and left of the screen gives an overview of the state of combatants. You lost health and mana, so let's rest and restore them. Okay. I get like a chess and checkers vibe out of this. Okay, we got a victory out of that. Ah, perfect. An Atheon looks like it was impressed with your battle, son. This is the first time seeing one of these for real, huh? They look pretty different out in the world, don't they? Forming bonds with Atheans will be critical for or critical to restoring balance on the island with their strength. We can save everyone from the coming catastrophic. Well, uh, well, for now, just go say hello. What a nice guy. Looks like they want to be your friend. The DNA this Cloman just gave you will will let you forge a bond with them. Oh, okay. So it looks like they drop like an item or in this case DNA and we probably have to extract it. Head over to the big totem at the back of the room and I'll show you how to how it all works. Okay, DNA. Now that you've revived Athen to add to your party, open the party menu and even mute Mutate your Atheon with elemental or class energy with a different mutation, different types from the original. You can learn actions. Okay. I guess there's some more stuff, but we need to add them to the party, right? Okay, it looks like I don't have any other items. This is how the Dean connect with the world of Athean. Their technology with the help of us guides allowed them to interfere or interface with the other space, the world of the Rift. With my help, you can interact with the Athean you received. These save totems keep track of your progress and let you manage your Athean. So use them often. Okay. Now you got your first partner, you should check out your pause menu. I'll provide a link for you to see how your Atheans are doing at any point. Okay, pause. Okay, there's our... Okay. What happened here? I saw the lab light up, so I came to investigate. In all my life, I've never seen this place come alive like this. What exactly is happening? So you mean to tell me that you can see the Atheon, just like the Dean used to, and this vision that you speak of, this sounds quite dire. This island, we can see the way it crumbles, rock slide, fissures, all kinds of problems that plagued us of late, but it sounds if this is the only of the beginning. Callan, it seems you may have been chosen as Akuma's savior. I'm sorry 
This is much larger burden than I expected you to carry, but the rest of us sages will do. We can help you. It's a lot of reading. <laughs> I'll be honest. It may not be much, but I believe I know where to begin. In ancient times, the Dian and the greatest of Atheans, the fabled beasts, created the elemental towers across Akuma. These towers and fable Atheans, they house were the key to the Dian civilizations. At some point long ago, we lost the ability to speak with the Atheon, and the towers have remained dormant ever since. It sounds like the feeble beasts are in integral to stopping this rift from causing further devastation go to the far reaches of kuma and seek their help they likely hold the power necessary to save us all okay it looks like we need to go to some towers oh oh hold on I just clicked a bunch of stuff. Oh boy. Okay, it looks like we gotta go. Many houses throughout this island have been broken down due to the increased frequency of uh, tremors and earthquakes helping to restore their homes all over the island would be a very noble goal. If the houses throughout Akuma are rebuilt, the island would be much better for it. Okay. Looks like we got our first battle here. Yikes. We gotta fight all these things? That was rough. <laughs> that was that was pretty bad. It's been designated for construction of a new house. You'll need plenty of materials to order in order to build it. Go. Okay, this seems much better. Like, is it that rough? Man, the game just put us like handicapped there. Yeah, it looks like this guy's gonna beat us. Oh, okay. We got lucky there. Oh yeah, by the way, there's fishing. Oh, okay. It's nothing too crazy. Okay, so it looks like just some crafting items. What is...
Two, two, two. The charge. Oh no, take a look at this place. It is filled with death. All the natural life and spirit in this place feels drained. It's as if life as hard as it tried to establish itself has been banished from this place, kept from ever recovering. What in the world caused such a calamity? And the charred sanctums and the ice caught mines environments. Wiki gains the affinity for fire. Dashing through an urn with an active flame will give Wiki the ability to temporarily carry fire to other urns, dash through an unlit urn while Wiki is lit to transfer the flame. Okay. The sanctums of old were a place for people, the Athean alike, a place of prayer, a place of faith. But that all changed when the sage fought with the fabled beast, no, no, no tech. They each claimed the place for their own and neither would break or back down. No tech wished the people gone from his mines and all its surrounding lands. So just, this is just me just being just a little nitpicky. I wish there was like more contrast with the text in the background. Like the white and the red blends, like it gets kind of lost with the maroon background. Like just having a simple black behind the text, like it may be having a, not even a solid black, just like maybe like 60% transparent. So it's a little bit more contrast. Because a lot of people are probably going to have a hard time reading this. So when the people came back to their sacred grounds one day, they fought it scorched, scorched by flames that would burn for centuries. This land, once sacred to all, was now charred de or desecrated. Sage, I implore you, bring belief to this land. Ah, I remember now, it used to look so differently from today. This land was a sacred place, one where your people burned or buried and prayed or prayed to, to the dead. Trees blossom and festivals were held in their honor. So before I get going, this is what I was talking about. Like the bottom of the screen, you see how the text is in front of a like somewhat transparent box. It's a lot easier to read when it's like that. It used to be so beautiful, so how did it end up like this? No idea. Guess we're gonna go this way. Oh. Someone, I feel someone else's presence here. I think it may be the fabled beast of this land. What's this? Once again, a, sa a sage has graced this land with his presence. Grrr. I expected eventually one of your kind would return. Turn back if you know what's good for you. How awful. We haven't done anything wrong to treat us with such hostility just like that. However, important... They may be. I don't like them. Well, that unpleasantness aside, we still have a job to do. It seems they won't be any or they won't be of any help to us. So for now, let's head towards the mines and see what's going on there. Okay, the mines are way over there. 
do 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 Well, maybe I can cheat and just go this way. an offering to the shrine oh I don't have a crystal every polygon each head being considered its own unique creature has a favorite food and they are very particular about seeking it out some polygon Spend a great deal of time walking back and forth between favorite spots throughout the day because each one refuses to eat the preferred meal of the other. Okay. What do we got here? You're one of the sages, right? You need access to the mines. Unfortunately, that's going to be a tough one right now. You see, there's a bit of a dilemma. My guys are on strike and... They're not letting anyone through. I had to cut their pay and they're not having it. I tried to explain to them there's nothing I can do. The fire in the areas have gotten more intense and I swear they are targeting our rail sections of our trans transport system has been lit on fire and destroyed and now we can't get our goods back to Ote. We can't fix the rails as long as the fires don't go don't go out. And we don't have the manpower or resources at this point to get it done anyways. If I can't trade, I can't make money, and moving all this on foot is nowhere near as efficient. As long as we don't have a rail, I can't pay my guys their full wages. I know it's not fair, but there's nothing I can do. My hands are tied. This guy's a cheap ass. Pay your people. Unless you can figure out a way to get my rails back up and running, it seems like you're out of luck getting into the mines. Uh, now we're now we're like corporate guys. Oh boy, we're probably going to get destroyed. I feel like I need to do a little bit of grinding. <laughs> That's definitely brutal. Yikes, man. That is so tough. That's a little brutal. I'll be honest. See, see, that's how it should be, at least in the starting area. We won. Oh, 
Oh my words. I'll be honest, that's a little That's a little brutal. Yeah, I don't even know if I can beat I need a monster back. <laughs> Oh, my spell does two attacks. Okay. That's interesting. But I need monster pieces. I'm just not sure how to acquire. Yeah, because it doesn't look like I, I'm just gaining experience. I feel like a little Dark Souls in here. <laughs> That requires special tools. Squash. Boom. No, don't hurt me. He shielded. Victory. Okay, we got to level up. What does that actually mean? Spirit fruit. Okay, we got a bass, ran berries, bond berries. Guy monster meat. now 
definitely a culture shock. The game definitely doesn't hold your hand. So if you guys are used to playing like Pokemon and having your hand held, this is definitely not the game for you. I feel like this is like Dark Souls, just like throw it in your face. Which I, I I'm I'm down for it. But man, it's brutal. It can be brutal sometimes. Looks like you'll need to repair the bridge. Okay. Of course, there's no trees around here. See, those are specialty trees. I definitely like that the uh, you have to interact with the environment to like repair things like it gives like a sense of because a lot of farming games you don't really have to farm per se you just do it uh, let's see okay it looks like we still need more items We got enough items now. Yes. Repair. Oh, wrong tool. Sorry, I'm just kind of exploring, guys. Do do do. Oh, we're back in the village. Okay. Choo -choo -choo. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. One hit. Yo, it looks like we got some DNA off. Oh, looks like I gotta climb. Oh, okay. It makes sense now. So I have gotten DNA. It's just I need to get... 
It seems expensive. So if I really wanted the scorpion, I need to find those other items. Gotcha. We won. Oh, looks like we got another fight. It was a giraffe grass looking thing. Do, 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 do. We won! We got something out of that. Okay. Gotcha. I do like these being all over the place. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. I was just trying to, you know, do kind of like a let's try. But yeah, if you guys want me to continue playing on this game, let me know down below. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.